Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Before we get going on today's card, I wanted to let you know that there is a sale going on at onlinecardclasses.com through this Thursday evening. If you want more cards like what you're going to see today and also my last video um, like this where it's all kind of just watercolor, not any other real supplies, then you'll want to check out my class called Simply Watercolor. That's one that I did a while back. It's such a fun class. No stamps or dies. It's minimal supplies and it's really fun to go through and create all those cards. So now into today's card. Thank you guys so much for tuning in last week for my live stream where I showed how to watercolor this card um, using just really simple supplies. In fact, I'm going to be using most of the same supplies today. You guys really seem to love this particular idea because it uses very minimal supplies. And while, while we are all stuck at home, most of us probably have these supplies or something very similar so you can create or recreate this card on your own. So today I'm going to be doing kind of the same thing but just showing you kind of a different pattern, a different way to set up your card. So I have some watercolor paper here. Today I'm using some Canson XL watercolor paper. You can get it multiple places online including Amazon. Okay, and last week for this particular card, it is three and a half by five. And I mentioned in that video that Lawn Fawn sells some four bar envelopes that are the perfect size for this card. And it's true, this is the perfect size, but it's also almost too big. It's like the exact size of the envelope. Like I'm struggling to put it in here, but it does close. So for today's card, I'm making it just slightly shy of three and a half by five. So it's just a little bit more narrow than three and a half. And then right now it's five. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the bottom just so that it's a little bit shorter. I wanted to do this after I folded it just because I scored it at five inches and it was a little easier than having a strange me measurement. So, all right, so now it's just a little bit smaller. So let's get into today's watercoloring. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my card flat and I'm going to put some blue tape right above the fold so that I can have this flat but I have an idea of where the fold is. While I have my tape out, I'm going to grab another piece of tape. And this helps if you have a grid mat or something that has lines across it because I'm going to line up my card front on my grid mat here and I want to mask off everything above about right here. So I'm going to line up the tape with each side and then I'm just going to wrap that around. I'm not going to be painting above the bottom edge of this tape. All right and today I'm going to go ahead and just turn it and like I did before, I'm going to do kind of a rainbow pattern, but this is going to be super, super simple. I'm just doing kind of stripes or like brush strokes coming down, transitioning from red over to purple. So I'm going to, um, I got my paper towel nearby, and this is very similar to last week's card where I had the transition going from yellow to green to blue to purple. I kind of want that same kind of transition of color. Starting with red, right from the palette, I want a nice, clean, kind of liquidy red shade. And if this is going to go a little bit off the edge of the card. So I'm going to put down a hard board just to catch that paint that comes down. But it's just going to come right down off the edge. I'm going to let it kind of flick away, give it an uneven edge. I'm going to mix a little bit of my orange into my red shade. And I don't want it to be completely perfect. I want it to have some areas where they meet and also little gaps like that. But the thing you want to remember is you want a lot of color you want a really wet paint so that it flows really well. 
This one needs a little more yellow in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and add more yellow. Just like that. And now I'm going to take pure yellow, and I want it to be really liquidy. Perfect. Some of that orange shade can seep into it. I'm going to grab some green. Once again, I want this pretty liquidy. In fact, I might tip this this way so that it flows down. And I'm just going to paint that right there. I'm going to mix in a little bit of blue into that green so that I have a little bit of a different shade. Just like that. Now I'm going to go straight to the blue. This is a really organic looking pattern. You don't have to be super clean about it. I'm going to add some purple into my blue up here. and then just pure purple on this end. Just like that. All right. Maybe I'll tip it this way. It'll get those colors running a little bit. And I do have this yellow that is wanting to drip, so I'm just gonna catch that with my paper towel. Looks like I've got a little bit of that purple that wants to do the same, so I'm just gonna catch that with the corner of my paper towel and I have this really cool organic sort of color dripping look kind of like um, dripping melted crayons I think that looks kind of cool everything is dry now so I'm going to remove this tape right here hopefully I didn't have too much bleeding maybe I'll just put this purple oh no a nice clean edge perfect all right, so now just to finish this card, I'm going to write my greeting right across that line. And it can be whatever you want. I'm going to have mine be thinking of you. Apparently I wrote a little bit more condensed, but that's totally okay. It can be a little bit off to the side. In fact, maybe I'll draw a little line right there. You know, I'm not loving that right there. So what I'm going to do is using my ruler, I'm going to draw another line right above. And then I'm going to fill in that entire area with black and write my greeting over the top. All right, I filled in that area, and I'm going to write my greeting in my white gel pen. And I'm just gonna have it start off to one side. And then some dots to finish it off. So there is the card for today, nice and simple and easy. Just want to remind you that there is a sale going on at onlinecardclasses.com. And if you would like to take a class where there's many more ideas like this, where you're not using any stamps or dyes, it's very minimal supplies, just some paints and some watercolor paper, you will want to check out my class, uh, Simply Watercolor. It's all just watercolor cards along this same vein and it's a great class so I hope you go, you'll take advantage of that discount and we have a new class that is being announced on Friday as well so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, if you have any questions about today's card leave it down below in the comments and I will see you guys very soon for another card video.